trick him. Trick him! Trick him! Ah! Ah! Okay, he missed. Good. Run! Run like the dickens! Ah! Hello, friends, and welcome back to Daggerfall Unity. I am Lilia, and we are playing Daggerfall Unity once again. Uh, if you are new here, I've done a lot of previous videos on modding the game and how to install Daggerfall Unity, and just doing some general testing to see how I want the game set up in order to start a semi let's play. What I'm planning to do in this video is start a, a sort of playthrough, but not like with the intent to finish the game. Uh, it'll just be a playthrough with the intent to like go through some of the game and check out how I have my mod set up and check out um, just how the game works. Like later on, we're gonna do some quests. I might join a guild. We're just gonna play the game. Uh, kind of open-ended and experience it. I'm gonna make a new character. I was testing on a wood elf uh, archer type character and for this particular mini series I'm gonna make a cleric type character for various reasons which I shall explain when we're in character creation. But this video you can expect to see character creation and possibly more but uh, because I already know what I'm gonna do for the character, so I'm gonna kind of skip through that pretty quickly, hopefully. Um, and I might, I might get through part of the first dungeon, and then the next video will be like more exciting gameplay and stuff. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's the plan. Hopefully, you guys are on board to watch that with me as I fumble around in Daggerfall Unity. Let's get started. I think we'll watch the intro video again because it's amazing. So let's play. All right. Bethesda Softbox presents. Daggerfall. Unity. All right. Start a new game. Uh, so I'm going to be a cleric type character. And there was, there's a couple of options that are good for spell casting, in my opinion. Um, High elves are always good because they're pretty good mages and they also are immune to paralysis, which is super nice and handy dandy. Um, the other obvious choice is Bretons because they have spell resistance. Um, but dark elves are also good wizards. I mean, it doesn't really matter what you pick, honestly, but I think for the purposes of this particular series, I'm going to... I'm, I know I'm going to be, I'm going to be like half melee, half spell casting, but I'm not taking destructive magic. I'm only going to have like defensive and utility magic. So I think because of that, I'm going to pick Breton. I think. Breton's hail from a province of High Rock. You are part of a tall, fair-skinned people, highly intelligent and willful. Magic seems to infuse the very being of a Breton people. As a race, they are more resistant to the effects of hostile magics than any other group, and thus are excellent in all arcane arts. Is your character to be a Breton? Yes, we'll be a Breton. Select thy character's gender. Um, I'm going to be... I, 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 I've picked a male a lot in the past, but I... I sort of know the character I want to make, so I'm going to pick male again. Uh, custom. All right, so we're going to be Cleric of Cheese, and uh, I am going... First, I'll assign, uh, I'll assign my primary skills, so I'm just going to speed through this. All right, primary skills got. Uh, mostly I'm picking agility and uh, intelligence and willpower skills. Um, I want to have restoration as my main primary skill so that I can cast it easier. Uh, Bretons are also pretty good at willpower, so I think I'll probably get a boost to that. And willpower govern governs, I'm pretty sure it governs restoration, mysticism, and thaumaturgy. So restoration is going to be healing spells and then 
cleansing of poison and disease and stuff like that. Mysticism is mark and recall and some other important things. Thaumaturgy is, uh, I think it is, I think thaumaturgy is the open spell. Is that right? I think, I know there's some important ones in there and I think there's like an undead slaying spell or something. But anywho, uh, more importantly, we are going to actually bump down strength. Uh, we're going to put intelligence up to 60 and willpower up to 55. We're going to increase agility to 60 and we're going to leave endurance. We're going to get rid of some personality and we're going to get rid of some speed. Uh, I think I'm also going to get rid of some luck. Luck is important. It's like your chance to hit and governs everything else that you do in a little bit, in a little way. But I think I would rather have a lot of intelligence. Um, I could go back up with strength. I don't really, strength is obviously really handy for um, fatigue levels and for carrying stuff. But um, I think, I don't know, I kind of want to have some kind of a gimp of my character. So I might not have as much strength. It means I won't be able to carry as much stuff, but it'll be fine. Uh, let's just, let's put willpower up more. That will make these spells, uh, easier to cast for us. So it should be, that should be very helpful. Um, okay. So it's definitely the first time I played this, I totally screwed up when I was playing a mage type character and I didn't get the most important thing to get, which is increased majory three times int. I think I'm going to get this is a very powerful advantage for your character, but what it does is give you three times your intelligence and spell points, which is incredibly important because Daggerfall is built in such a way that it is almost impossible to cast any spells, even first level spells, if you do not have um, a good amount of intelligence. <laughs> so you basically are a really crappy mage unless you have that advantage. Uh, mostly, but it depends on how much spell, spell casting you want to do. But it's just a good idea to grab that if you can, if you're casting spells. Disadvantages, I'm going to try and balance out the difficulty here, and I'm going to give myself um, Forbidden Armor Type Leather. That should be interesting in the beginning of the game. I don't even know if that changed it at all. A little tiny bit. Maybe something, maybe something different... Uh, let's see. How about, what is this? Damage from holy? No. Wow. No, that's terrible. <laughs> forbidden weaponry. Okay. How about forbidden weapon weaponry? Um, how about we can't use blunt weapons and also we can't use leather. Uh, I don't, that's not good enough. That's <laughs> not good enough. Ability to regen spell points would be really hard. We could do a low tolerance to something. Material. Oh, here we go. Okay. How about we are not allowed to use... I assume this is an order of rarity, but I thought Daedric was the most rare. Maybe I'm wrong about that. I think Mithril is like a lighter armor, so let's pick Mithril. Let's say we can't use Mithril armor. I don't know if it is or not. I'm I'm unsure. But anyways, we'll just do it that. We're gonna we're gonna try and wear heavy armor, so that should be exciting. Uh, this is the cleric of cheese, and hopefully I did everything that I thought I was gonna do. Oh, I was also gonna put this up to ten, so we hopefully get some more um, HP per level, become a bit of a tank, and uh, there we go. So. I click exit, right? I think I click exit. Yeah, okay. Would you like to fast start by automatically generating your character's background? You'll be able to adjust it or choose your character's career path by answering questions. Uh, I want to do that, this one. Your reputation has changed to scholars higher. Okay, great. Name thyself. We're going to be Steve. Steve, the cleric of cheese. That is who we are. And uh, if your name is Steve, congratulations. Congratulations. Right. Um, I gotta pick. <laughs> oh, 
I think I have to do that one. I'm pretty sure I have to pick this. I don't think I have an option. <laughs> All right, so here's the super fun part. I'm gonna re-roll a bit here and see how many points I can get. I don't know if 14 is the max, but what I want is like a lot of intelligence and willpower and uh, a lot of extra points. So this might take me a minute. Okay, here's 14. Let's save that one. So if I if I go with this roll, um, I could get up to 200. I could do 70 there. I did get more endurance as well. Um, and then I could do that and. This isn't bad. I could put a little bit more into speed to get that back up to 50 pretty quick. This is pretty good. I think I'm just going to go with this. Uh, just so I don't take too long. All right. Long blade. We want, uh, we want restoration. Definitely. Uh, let's get this to 30 because I like even numbers. And yeah, more long blades so we can hit things. Critical strike. Mysticism. Oh, let's get Thaumaturgy up. Because that's lagging behind. And Mysticism. Dodging short blade etiquette. Let's do... For starters... Uh, for starters, let's do some etiquette. So people like talking to us. And some mercantile for bartering. And maybe some... Epic running skills. There we go. Okay. Player reflexes determine the overall speed of the game. We're going to do average. Basically, this uh, is like a difficulty level for combat, I'm pretty sure. Very low means the monsters will move and attack slowly, allowing you to adapt more cautious, thoughtful playstyle. Your character will advance slower with a lower reflex setting and will advance a little faster with higher reflex setting. I really like this that this is in the game. I've always kind of appreciated this, but I still always just play on average. I don't know. It, I, it's a little bit of a more casual, easygoing play style if you play on low, but I'm just going to keep it because I'm, I'm used to average, so I don't feel like I should change it. Okay. Here's our character. This is Steve, the cleric of cheese. Okay, let's go. 400 years after Tiber Septimus' reign, the beginning will meet the end and the bloody circle will close in the empire of Tamriel. The unworthy heirs of the Septim dynasty have allowed the bonds of the empire to weaken and crack. Uriel Septim, the seventh, cannot repair what his ancestors ignored. The provinces fight among themselves like neglected children, drunk with rebellion, and one indomitable power hides itself, but not forever. D for Daggerfall! Excuse the gloom, but none may know of this meeting. The nature of my trouble is darker still. Over a year ago, King Lysandus of Daggerfall died honorably on the field of battle. He was as loyal a subject, ally, and friend as you are. I did grieve for him, but his spirit does not rest. With a spectral army, he haunts his former kingdom, crying for revenge. I do not know why a good and loyal man would be so cursed. Perhaps you can find the answer and close the marble jaws of oblivion, bringing peace to his soul. I ask this as your emperor and your friend. I have one lesser request. 
Several years ago, I wrote a letter to the Queen of Daggerfall. It never arrived. The letter was of a sentimental and personal nature. If you find and destroy that letter, I will be grateful. Now, my champion, rest well this night. For tomorrow you sail for the kingdom of, of Daggerfall. Yes. Oh, cool. This is one of my mods. I was hoping this would actually pop up. I forgot. War Bashes, version 3, Wilderness. Watch your step as the beings of this world will follow in your footsteps. Do you wish to enable? Yes, I would. Okay, the forgotten homes of loved ones become salvation for those who seek it. Do you want to enable ruin encounters? Yes! Creatures, bandits, and necromancers will find new places to call home. Do you want to enable labyrinth encounters? Yes! You wake and look around the room. Some hours ago, you were in a boat en route to Daggerfall. When a storm of supernatural strength boiled over the Iliac Bay like a malefic creature, your boat was destroyed, but you managed to swim through the churning water as a, prom as a premonitory rock. I can never say this word. pro -montery? I thought it was... Whatever. There you found a cave and escaped the fury of the storm. You had only just lit a small fire when the mudslide sealed you from within. You fear, your fear of being buried alive calmed when you saw the corridor leading out of the cavern. Perhaps there is a way out of this cave after all. Once free of the cave, you can begin your first quest. The Elder Scrolls has a tutorial that can be... Actually, I'm going to turn that off. You feel as if the wilderness has more life than usual. At the ruins crumble, life will come full circle. Yes, okay, thank you. Yeah, okay. All right, so that's a mod. Uh, in case you're wondering, I will have all the mods installed currently in my game down below. I will also leave a link to the video that where I explain all my settings and such to get it to look all spooky dooky and stuff like this. I might actually have to turn the lightness, brightness up a bit though. Uh, nope, never mind. We started with a million torches, so we're good. <laughs> we're fine. All right, so, the, God, his mustache is so amazing. All right, let's equip our sword. Uh, also, uh, I gotta look and see what the spell casting menu is. Backspace? Ugh, that's not... Oh, okay. Um, so we, we start with shock, chameleon, and slow falling. We have 210 spell points, so we can cast all of these. Uh, I guess we'll keep this readied. Let's actually cast Chameleon and then have this readied. I am blending. Oh, it doesn't last very long. Okay, never mind. That's fine. <laughs> we don't need that. Hello? Bump, 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 bump. You're supposed to be a rat. Oh, hey, there you are. There you are, Mr. Rat. <coughs> Got him. Okay, he dropped a potion of free action. Oh, that's pretty nice. If you hit U, I think, yeah, you can use um, items, like magical items and stuff from that menu, so that's nice. All right, uh, we are not gonna be able to kill this. No, wait, we can kill the imp because we have shock. That's right. It's so hard to swing my sword. Okay, uh, shock. Yeah, that's gonna be a lot of mana, but. Um, first of all, let me save the game here. Oh, good thing I did. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Imp. Thank you. I think shock is a touch spell, and he just also did it to me. <laughs> so, that, I hope, he, ah! Uh... Wait, what is the recast spell again? Q. Okay. 
press button. Did I, did I hit him? Ah! I need a healing spell. Okay, we might actually not be able to kill this imp. You know, now that I'm, uh, now that I'm facing him in Mortal Kombat, I don't think that I can actually kill him, so... I'm just gonna go back into here. <laughs> I'm just gonna go back by my nice fire and rest. No, I can't rest, okay. Um... Well, this is a problem. Maybe I could sneak by him. I have no idea if I, like, did any damage to him at all. I think I did, but I'm not sure. Let's just leave him in there, shall we? We don't need to bother with that guy. We can kill these rats instead. And then hopefully we can rest somewhere around here. No. All right, let me save. Uh, well, rough start, to be honest. I don't know what background I got. Can I check that? Where's my, my log? No. History. Yeah, I don't- I didn't pick- <laughs> I didn't pick a background thing, so I, I don't know if, what bonus I got. Um, there is one where you can get an ebony dagger, which is what, what I got last time, and it was extremely helpful. Alright, hi. Ow. This character is not gonna be as strong starting out, I don't think, but- um, I'm also probably gonna die here. Could you please come up here? I don't wanna fight, fight you there! Okay. Like, I'm- I'm kinda slow, is the thing? It's very different from my last character. Very, very different. Uh oh, I'm back in a corner. This is not good. Oh, butts! All right, I'm gonna go back to this save, and I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna skip the imp, and run over here, and run past that guy, and <laughs> run down here. I think he's still after me. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Did I hit him? The giant bat just died. Okay, we got the thief. I think the imp... Alright, here we go. Here we go. Uh, we got some stuff. So this will help. I think. Elven staff. Steel broadsword. Iron. Okay, so that, that helps a lot. There we go. Now we've got some armor. I don't know. These, these pants just don't really work under there, do they? Two to nine, one to twelve. Let's unequip that. We want that. Um, we put the. No, we can't equip the staves. I don't know if we can actually use this to block or not. I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna equip it, but I don't think it actually does anything for me. What's in here? More money. Okay. Hello, heads. Nice to see you. All right. So let's save here. Help. <laughs> uh, Mr. Imp, uh, nice to see you. I would I would really just kind of like to not... <laughs> I'd really like to bypass you, if that's okay. Uh, let's see if we can get the spell off before he does. Hello? See if we can trick him. Trick him! Trick him! Ah! Ah! Okay, he missed. Good. Run! Run like the Dickens! Okay. I don't know. I'm gonna have to rest because, um, yeah. Let's quick save. 
Oh god. <sighs> oh, you! Right. You should- I should be able to kill you, right? I think. I don't know, maybe not. <laughs> you have a really large sword, so maybe not. But you have a, you might drop a bow, though. If I'm able to kill this guy, he might drop a bow. I might have to skip him, though. Because, uh... For obvious reasons. Oh, I hit him. That was good. Oh, damn it. I know this is not very fun to watch, but trust me, I'll be I'll be a lot better once I get like a healing spell and some other stuff. <laughs> the first thing we're gonna probably do is join the mages guild so we can uh, do some quests and craft spells and such. Come here, you. If I can hit him well, I'm walking backwards. Come on. Yes! Haha, -ha, I knew it! Steel die katana. We can probably use that also, right? 3 to 21, 1 to 12. Yes. Yes! Okay, some armor there. Um. go this will be more damage and we'll have more reach so now let's save here let's close this door let's see if we can rest damn it can we rest anywhere god come on there's got to be a place for me to rest oh i think that imp is stopping me from resting but we're not too far away from the end here just got to be super careful I should be able to kill things in one or two hits now that I have this sword. Alright, let's try in here, maybe. Okay, what if I go back into here? No, what if I go over here? Yes! Okay. Actually, first save and then rest until healed. <sighs> My stealth and my destruction has improved. I won't be using <clears throat> very many destruction spells in the future. I'm just doing that right now. By the way, how awesome does this game look with these settings? I love it. And without a torch, it looks even cooler. Oh, it's so dark and lovely. But don't worry, I will be using a torch for the majority of the time because it's very dark. And that's on purpose. All right, let's continue. Woo! I should probably be casting Chameleon. Um, just for skills, like, whenever I can. Because the more you cast spells, the more you level up. The more level your spells up, so. Hey! Oh, you survived that. Here we go. Now we're on a roll. Hey! Hey! Nope. Quit parrying. I wish to smack you with my die katana. Oh man, this guy's annoying. Are you like a battle mage or something? He must be an assassin. Nightblade, all right. I knew he was a higher level guy. All right, we got those, chain. Um. Can take that to sell. I'm gonna leave that stuff. Steel Tonto. A map? Ooh! A finely drawn vellum reveals the secret location of Tower Ashley, which you record. Oh. Cool. Okay, let's head into this room and plop down a save. Hopefully we are going to be able to rest again. Um... Resist shock. That could be useful. Okay, we're gonna backtrack. Try resting. One more time. Any 
Enemies nearby. Enemies nearby. Oh, come on, game. Okay, we can still rest here. So, let's do so, shall we? Maybe we'll be able to get out of this dungeon before the video is ending. Hopefully. Okay, now we're on a roll. Hooray! We've got things. We're not doing too horribly bad. Sort of. Wee! We haven't found any skeleton friends yet. Empty room. Oh, God, you're, you little jerk. How dare you? I'm, ve I'm not very amazing at hitting things yet, but that's okay. We'll get better at it, you know? Um, I think actually it's this way. Nope. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. It is dark down there. Whoa. Right, maybe it is this way. No, wait, that's a dead end. Oh no, it's this way. Yeah, it's this way, okay, I think. Oh, an orc! No, this is not the right way, but, you know, whatever. Okay, that was weird, the game lagged. I thought we were gonna crash. Ooh, an elven sword! some of this cheaper stuff. Take that. Let's compare. 3 to 21. Uh, 2 to 13. I kind of want to use that because it will probably um, swing faster, you know? Iron boots plus 7. Better. Yeah, it will be a faster weapon. So that's good. Save that. Hello, Skellington! Ow, I don't know if I'll be able to beat you. I could try casting. I don't know if that worked or not. No idea if that worked. Uh. Ow! My face. Ah, we'll get there. <laughs> we'll get there. Skellingtons are quite beefy. I wasn't expecting to kill him. Alright, let's go back this way. I think this is actually the way to go, but I could be mistaken. It's The textures are a bit different um, from the mod, so... Oh no, oh no. Can I hit you with Elven? <laughs> Maybe. Excuse me. Could you? I can! Oh, great. Okay. Elvin works. Awesome. Alright. There's there's a pile of loot in there. How rude! How absolutely rude. How I cannot get it. That is very rude. Alright, well. We can rest here. Nope, there are enemies nearby. Oh, hey! Oh god, don't kill me. I didn't save before I rested. <laughs> don't do it, sir! Did you get that, get that awesome, uh... Get that loot behind the table. That would be nice. A small tooth, leather, helmet, silver warhammer. Interesting. Iron boots. Alright, we are almost... Over encumbered again. But that's okay. That was uh that was expected. Alright, my stealth skill has improved. Wow, thanks. Empty room. Let's look at the map. I know I'm getting close to the exits. go in that room. But never mind. I'm having a good time exploring. Yeah. 
I remember what we have to do. I remember what I forgot about. Oh god. Um, if there's some lag happening sometimes. I'm not sure why. Goodbye, Mr. Skellington. I'm going up, 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 and away. Right, that is what I was forgetting. Forgot we had to take the handy dandily elevator upstairs. There might be some loot in that room I just passed, actually. Is there a room back here? Nope, I think it's up farther. There's an imp and a rat duking it out in there. Skellington, very angry, around somewhere. Hello! There's a bat, an imp, and a rat. Who's going to win? One of the really cool features of Daggerfall Unity is this. The, I know you can't see very well because it's dark, but the uh, the enemies fight each other, finally. In the original game, that never happened. Never happened. They only attacked the player, which was kind of baloney in my opinion. But, uh, dang, that bat was a badass. We don't need those. <laughs> and we found it. Here it is. The exit! Lovely! Alright, let's save here. Exit, and... Go! This area looks inhabited. You pass a stack of firewood. It's nighttime. A small pool of blood is right in front of you, and by the looks of the amount, it might have been fatal but it's to its victim. But it... Be it animal or person, it would be best to keep a sharp eye out. Proceed with caution? Of course I proceed with caution! Be careful. Something dangerous is about. I think that is the uh, mod that I installed, the dangerous exteriors or whatever. Dungeon exteriors. Is there anyone around lurking, trying to murder me? I don't know. But anyways, we are, let's see, it's been 42 minutes. I think what we'll do is I'm going to end the episode here. Next time, we will journey to Daggerfall. Also, I'm very curious about that uh, Oops, not, uh, world map. I'm very curious about a dungeon that it put on the map. I forgot what it was called. I might do a search for it. Or does it not work? Like, does it disappear after it adds it to my map? It might. Ooh, the music is spoopy. All right, so there we go. That was uh, a cleric character <laughs> with no spells. First thing I'm going to do is go to Daggerfall, join the Mages Guild, buy the spells I need, um, and then hopefully we will be able to go adventuring and actually be able to kill stuff. I mean, we can kill stuff. It's just that I don't have any ranged capabilities and I'm not the greatest at wielding a sword yet. Uh, but that will definitely improve as we get beefier and increase our uh, agility and speed and stuff. Speed is pretty bad right now. That really does hinder you in combat quite a bit. And my previous character I was playing it for a test character was pretty fast, so it's quite a difference. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to look into modding this game for yourself or want any more information on how to install Daggerfall Unity, um, go check out my videos. They'll be linked down below and in uh, at the end of this video as well. So thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, hopefully you subscribe to the channel if you want to see more of this and like the video to let me know. We'll see you guys very soon for another episode. Bye, friends. Bye-bye. <laughs>